Today I'm going to tell you about our new game for the Nook, Solitaire Double Deck HD. It's for the Nook Color and the Nook Tablet. This is what the game's going to default to. Double Deck Solitaire is played exactly like Single Deck Doll Solitaire. You just have two decks. There are eight spaces up above for the eight aces. To move an ace, you can either drag it or I can single tap and it will jump up automatically to the appropriate place. And if you have multiple cards that are available to move up above, you can double tap the background. So for now, I'm going to single tap a few of these cards and put them in the places where they belong. Now you have an empty king slot here, so I can, any of these three kings can go. So I'm going to go with my biggest stack. Okay. Now as we play through, you can single tap like this, adding additional cards as well. Some of the other features of the game are, if you click in settings, you have various game modes from your double deck that we see now to the standard single deck that, you, that most people are used to, uses 52 cards, to a new half deck version. It's played just like regular solitaire, except there's only two suits. So right now, I have one move. I actually have two moves. Okay, and if you get lost, you're not sure what to do, tap hint, and it will tell you. Tap hint. Now again, I have an ace. Anything to, that's available to move to the upper deck, double tap the background, and it will move it automatically. So, okay. As far as other features in the game, under the advanced setting tab, under the advanced setting button, we have a variety of options. The first option is right hand mode. I can move the stock deck off to the right. It's a lot easier for right handed people sometimes. The other one that my wife really loves is extreme speed mode. This one just eliminates the, the graphics between moving cards. So it makes the whole game a lot faster. So for example, when I tap to flip, there's no animation between. Again, under advanced settings, I can also turn off the quick touch, which is the single tap, and I can also turn off the double tap to complete, to move things up above, okay? That way for people that like to play it and like to drag it, it's easy for them. That way it won't accidentally move cards. One of the final features we have under themes is we have a variety of gorgeous themes. We have the classic theme, which for most people are used to the classic decks, the fast standard cards you find. We have the medieval that it defaults to, and we have a bling deck. Now if you like the cards, but you want the medieval background, then you choose custom. And all of the features of all of the decks are available here, plus many other backgrounds. I like the dollar background, excuse me, the dollar card back with the, I went the wrong way, with the, oops, the car, race car background. That's how I like to play it. And again, if you ever get lost, just tap hint and it will point out options. And if there's more than one, it'll ro rotate between them. Oh, I turned off quick touch, that's why I didn't move. Advanced settings, quick touch is turned off. There we go. I'm going to double tap to complete. Extreme speed mode is also off, okay? Um, and that is our game. I hope you enjoyed as much as we enjoyed it.